what we're seeing that's very similar site here throughout the past few weeks. Another morning after a storm, snow is falling and people trying to get up into the mountains and the ski resorts where right now along Wasatch Boulevard, making your way up Little Cottonwood Canyon. It's a standstill currently as they're waiting to open up the canyon due to avalanche mitigation soon to be opened up though so those cars will be moving but many of you again trying to get up there and enjoy some of that fresh powder let's talk about your snow report where the mountains picking up anywhere in some spots a half of a foot but like alta 12 inches a foot and a half up at brighton so another generous storm here at least here across northern utah we're again looking up in areas such as park city you picked up 10 inches 12 inches at solitude looks like sundance you got about three inches with your base amount at 100 inches so so far looking at january we keep updating this where the average snowfall for alta is 95 inches we're at 170 so we're on track to see that double giving them 200 percent of normal at least for the month of january but it's been above average november december january and hoping to keep this trend going now a view from our natural history museum camera just a few moments ago still seeing some flurries falling where parts of the valleys there are some pockets where light snow is falling temperatures not too bad we're in the mid 30s in salt lake city low 30s in provo right now in ogden upper 20s but our next storm system yes it's bringing the snow but it's also going to be pounding us with some canadian air yeah blast of cold air coming through now today's high temperature will be below average we're on average we should be in the low 40s boys looking ahead we don't have too many days that will be close to average it's just going to be a cold week on tap now from the current storm yeah we're at the tail end of it still winter weather advisory in place here for the wasatch mountains up through rich county and then also the wasatch back that'll expire by noon but then the, the national weather service wants to get us ready for the next storm where high wind watch we're going to see some strong gusty winds particularly as we look in box elder twilla county as the storm tracks through we get a strong northerly flow and some gusty winds so with cold temperatures and the winds wind chill temperatures with the wind chill watch that will remain in effect where we're going to see those strong winds where in some locations we can see wind chill temperatures come monday morning minus 10 to minus 20 as will also be a concern for tuesday morning now for this next storm we're going to see snow in the valleys and you're going to need to get your shovels ready because you can see many locations either two to three inches but upwards of four to six inches like up in logan throughout uh, utah county now as we turn towards central and southern utah less accumulation but look at st george you're not going to see a lot but you will see flakes flying with this next storm as colder air makes us move all throughout the state now the mountains will get hit Generous with this next storm, kind of on that range of 6 to 12 inches, maybe in some spots getting a little bit more as we'll be looking at this next storm benefiting with snow for the valleys and the mountains. But as I mentioned here across northern Utah, we still will see some lingering snow here as the storm wraps up. But the next one quickly will be lining up. But currently we are seeing that snow moving its way through Tooele and Salt Lake Valley and then tracking over towards the Cottonwood Canyons. Here's our next cold front. Again, it's directly coming in from the north, so it's packing in that cold air. So a big change in temperatures, especially as we go from Sunday into Monday. But highs today in the 30s, we'll see about a 40% chance of some scattered snow showers throughout the day. Central and southern Utah, the further south you go, the uh, more sunshine you'll see and 50s in St. George where you're going to get hit with that rain and snow on Monday and then cold temperatures and then we'll climb back out where we get a break from the precipitation for most days as we look for the upcoming week. Northern Utah, snow today again on and off again. Tomorrow it's more persistent and it's accumulating snow, valleys and mountains breaking away Monday, but it is cold. Highs only in the 20s. Look at your overnight lows. Now you understand why with a little bit of wind, those wind chill temperatures, well, will be sub-zero there in many spots. Now, Wednesday, Thursday, we're climbing back up into the 30s. We're not seeing much snow in the forecast for the upcoming week, but get ready for the cold.